OK, let's start a new design. Drag a cylinder and edit to your size. I will make this one 50 millimeters in diameter. And reduce its height to 3 or 4 millimeters. We are going to add 6 evenly spaced holes at 60 degree intervals. Let's line it up with the center of our part. I will move this to 20 millimeters from the center. Now realign to center. Now Let's duplicate this part. Hold the shift key and click on the main part to group these two parts together. Now we turn the main part to 60 degrees. Now, let's repeat that process. Duplicate the part again. Hold the shift key and click on the main part to group these two parts together. Turn to 60 degrees again. Repeat this process until we have six evenly spaced. Now that we have our spacings equal, let's make them into holes and group this together. We have to ungroup all the pieces first. Hold the shift key while you select all the rods we have placed. Make them into holes and group everything together. Do not try to alter your main part after you have grouped your holes. This will make your holes oval shape.
Let's add a 25mm hole in the center. Center and group. We might add a locating lug. Ungroup and select one of the holes. Duplicate this hole, then group all. Hold shift key and click the hole you just duplicated. Now we will turn the main part to 30 degrees. Change our hole to a solid, reduce its height and group all parts. Now we will add a gasket seal. I will make this 30 by 30 millimeters by one and a half millimeters in height. Change the grid in Tinkercad to half millimeter increments. Lift the part to the same height as the main part. Now realign to center. Make your solid a hole and group all parts. And there we have a 50mm flange with locating lug and seal relief. Now, let's change the name. Name your part to suit. Save the changes. Now we will download the file and see how it prints.